Hello. Hello, Commander. We have a problem. What is it? There is an unknown disease outbreak in Argentina. Hugo, bring up the map of Argentina. This is the map sent to us from the base. Uh, the disease appears to have started out in Santa Fe, and it seems to be spreading outwards. We haven't heard from Cordoba, but Buenos Aires, Entre Rio, and Santiago all have significant deaths. I'll get to see it to you quickly. This is your captain speaking. We will be landing in Argentina soon. It is your choice if you wish to buckle your seatbelt. I don't really care. We're probably all going to die anyways, because I'm really drunk. In the streets of Santa Fe. Tienes una enfermedad? Yeah, I'm sick. Do you know what you have? Well, I've got really explosive diarrhea. Any other symptoms? I'm really thirsty. You got any water on you? I'm sorry, but the disease can be spread by water, so we can't give you any. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Headaches? No. Vomiting? <coughs> yeah. Depression? No. Fever? Let me see. No. Joint pain? Oh yeah. Rash? No. Diarrhea? Oh yeah. Sleepiness? Mm, no. You know anyone else who has the disease? My whole family. Have you eaten any food? Oh, I made a pizza for the family last night. Back to base camp. I think it's cholera, caused by the Vibro cholera bacteria. Victims have severe watery diarrhea and vomiting. Patients are experiencing radical thirst. It must be cholera. Well, that's the disease that's spread in water, meats, and food grown in soil, contaminated by either the original bacteria or feces of an infected person, right? Yeah. It's also very commonly found in raw shellfish and sometimes in cattle. There's a large number of diseased cattle in Argentina. Can it be spread by any other vectors of infection? How about insects? Don't even go there! Why is everybody always first to blame the insects? My preciouses would never do that. Why couldn't it be the food for once? Fine, it must be the food then. It can't be spread by animals and insects. We must contain this outbreak. While working with the disease, we're going to need to take some precautions. Galera is a level 2 biohazard, so we won't need too much specialized equipment. We're going to need an autoclave, a HEPA filtered level 1 or 2 safety cabinet, lab coats and gloves for everybody, and proper disinfectant. We're also going to need a biohazard sign for outside of a lab that's separated from other activities. We have to inform the people that the disease has been spread to limit the outbreak. To the Jarmobile! <laughs> Be sure to boil water for cooking and for drinking. Don't forget to let the water cool before you drink it. Don't forget to wash your hands and your utensils before eating. Be sure to cook all suspicious food, especially so shellfish. Be sure to drink lots of water so you don't get dehydrated. If you currently have the disease, eat salt and we can give you antibiotics. It should only last about a week. So, uh, bye. Outtakes. We must find some way to fight this disease. Fight? How can this disease be so deadly? I'll show you through example.
Nothing like homemade pizza. They thought cholera was the greatest of their worries, but... Ah! It's the beast! Ah! Hugo, put the map on screen. What happened? Someone set up a the bond. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? All your base are blown to us. You are on the way for this version. What you say? You have no chance to survive your time. <laughs> All your days, your days, days, days. All your days, don't belong to us. Ah. Uh...